Hi, my name is Dr. Evelyn. I'm a Jawad teacher and also a tutor on the accredited Jawad belly dance training courses. In this video, I want to go over some more advanced ED cane technique. There is also a video on basic technique in this series, uh, as well as a video on more advanced steps, which kind of creates the foundation for this video. So uh, the Saidi canes, there are many different ones. There is the cabaret style, which I've got here, and there is the more broomstick uh, version, the more traditional one, if you like, often used by the men, or by people who want to add more of a earthy, traditional feel to their Saidi. Um, the thing that depends on how you want to do it. So if you were doing it in a cabaret setting, I would probably choose this one. If I was doing one in a more traditional style in dress, I would choose the other one. But this video is more about how you can add some uh, advanced cane technique onto your moves to create something different than maybe just twirling your cane or just framing. So, um, Lots can be done just with twirling and framing, but sometimes you need to kind of let your cane travel as well. So wherever it is, your cane is always on really nice defined angles. So if you're framing something here, such as the horse step, you've got the cane resting really easily on your thumb. You're just very gently holding it. And uh, if we were to maybe use some camels where we're traveling, we could put the cane up. And then when we've got it up here again, you might want to hold it really easily. You don't necessarily want to go for this look unless you are doing something really severe, really serious and masculine. Um, so because this is a cabaret cane, I'm going to still hold it very elegantly and girly. And then if you're doing your jump step, you might have your cane up here as well for that. In a really nice strong V with the shoulders down so that you don't end up in a really tight and uncomfortable look. Um, those are kind of the, the basics. Um, now, the thing is, every now and then, you might want to put your cane in the floor. And that's one of the reasons I also chose the cabaret cane for this video. Because uh, if you do it, unless you are, are really playing with something in particular, you don't want to end up with this look, because often it gets confused a bit as, as if you are in, you know, imitating Charlie Chaplin or so on. So always try and keep your hook downwards. And you can do lots of things here. You could do some shimmying or some twisting. And you can walk around it. And again, what you want to do is you want to hold on to your cane really, really lightly so that it's actually in the floor. It's got a nice straight line and you're not allowing it to kind of move all over the place. So straight lines always, unless we are going for a very defined diagonal. So uh, one diagonal could be here, when you're cameling, or here, when you're cameling. Or one of my favorites is actually holding the cane over your head as you're traveling away from it with the rig. So that one I will just break down. So your normal rig will take you to the side. You could have the cane here. You could have the cane out on a nice straight line, changing whenever you want to. Or you can choose to, which I have to think now, leave the cane behind as you're traveling away from it. When you're coming back with your rick, you're traveling into your cane. And as you're turning away, you're leaving your cane in the same frame, but over your head. So basically, your elbow wants to be staying in one place. Your thumb can really help you control and hold your cane here. And you need to have a tight enough grip. Other than that, you're aiming for a nice sharp 45 degree angle. And what you're doing is you're turning your body away from the cane or in towards the cane. Now, to create another really 
nice sharp angle and to create something different. You can put the hand out to support it as you're walking back. And as you're walking away, we can use what I like to call the muffin top arms, covering your belly here, making sure your shoulder doesn't sneak up and detract so you don't end up looking like that. So four steps on your rick. I'm holding this in my right hand. I could hold it in my left as well. But for this exercise and for this little mini choreography, I'm holding it in my right only. So I'm stepping towards the right and I say right for four. And as I turn back, I walk into my cane and I step away. Boom, boom, boom. And I walk into the cane. Dum, 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 dum. So when you're holding the cane on your traveling towards the cane, make sure it's very light and elegant again. If you hold it too tightly, you will, you will break that lovely straight line, which we're aiming for. So we've got lots of options with the cane. We could start with the rig, traveling sideways for four. We can go forwards, lean, back, bounce, forwards, lean, and a back, bounce. And we can travel with a hagala, leaving the cane over our head. As we come back, we can go into a horse step. The cane can come down. It can even make little circles. And then as we prepare and go into the jump step, we want to look nice and fierce. We're going to bring the cane up or over our head and keep it there in a nice strong V as we're traveling back. Only going to go back for four. I got carried away there. And then as we're cameling towards the front, we're going to let the cane glide down. We're going to bring the cane in the front, have a little twist and a little shimmy. We can walk around with the hagala. And finally, we can pretend to kick the cane, swing it up, and get ready for maybe another rig or horse step. Now let's try that just as a little dance along and see how that goes. So we've got a nice basic Saidi rhythm going. We're going to start by bringing the cane up or over our head. We're going to aim to find that 45 degree angle. We're going to go into the rick for four. One, two, three, coming back. One, two, forwards and backwards lean. We're going to do the hagala, cane overhead. step. Taking the cane down for little circles. And then we're going to get ready for the jump step. And cameling to the front. Twist and One more time. Forwards and backwards lean. Hagala. Horse step. Cameling back in the floor, this twist chimney. We're going to kick it up into horse step. 
jump step, keeping the cane where you've got it. We're going to bring it down on the camels. Walking around with a hagala. Kick it up. Forwards and backwards lean. Hagala. Four steps, circling the cane in front. And then jump step. Cameling it down. In the floor. Twist, twist, Jimmy. There you go. So there's some ideas for some more advanced cane work as well, adding it on to your basic Saidi. Uh, and also your more advanced Saidi for that matter. So I hope you have fun playing around with that. Happy practicing. <laughs>